Okay, welcome back. Happy New Year 2018 at Power Republic. Today we're going to be showing you how to install all the plastics on our KZ build up project. Um, the car's going to tr really transform from a bare bones to something that resembles a car, so I'm starting to get pretty excited. Next week we're going to do the engine install, so stay tuned. Let's get to it. So we've got the nose cone, the NASA panel, the two side pods that are already on their side pod bars, the rear bar and the rear bar mounting kit. Okay, we've got our NASA panel mounting brackets and, uh, and then the hardware and also, of course, the old trusty GoPro mount. Okay, so to insert the nose cone onto the car, it's pretty easy, but um, just pull the clamps all the way off. If you leave them on but loose, um, it can make it really hard just to get this guy in. So but when you take the clamps all the way off, you can get that guy in there and push the nose cone or the, the front bar down and then just put the clip on it's an over center clip so these ones are adjustable too for those new guys so if it's not tight when you do the over center part of the clamp just screw it in a couple of times and then do it until it's tight on the bar okay so next up we're going to put the NASA panel lower mounting bracket on okay it's got two red washers here that you have to trim otherwise they will overlap and not mount properly and that goes down here on this uh, chassis tab so these just mount to this um, little chassis tab here points forward and you can either mount it that way which push it a bit lower you can mount it the other side and bring it a bit higher And just do these two little bolts up with a uh, 5mm Allen key and trusty old 10mm ratchet ring spanner. Okay, it's a pretty handy tool in the old go-kart toolbox. If it doesn't fit in here because of the footrest, you can just use the open end and struggle a bit more with this little guy. Or if you're super smart, you could put this bottom one in first and use the ratchet spanner and then slip the top bolt in second. Next up, we've got the top of the NASA panel brackets, okay? Um, they are the same bracket, but you just turn them around on the go-kart. Nothing too crazy tech there. So undo this, undo this bolt, this nut and bolt for the steering column. And you can see there's a gap here. We're gonna slip these little guys down inside there. It's a bit of a, a uh, jiggle. So you just chuck them down like that. Bring this guy up to your hole, run out of hands. Got it. Right. And then this little guy here, haven't dropped anything yet, job's not over. And then it is a six millimeter and a 13 ratchet ring spanner, six millimeter Allen key. And just nip those up, move your brackets up, roughly where you gotta have them, and then lock that. Lock, lock that up. All right, so now we're all good to put the NASA panel on. All right, first up, we're gonna mount the NASA panel here with the Get the hardware, chuck that through there. Little M6 nut on the bottom. So next up we've got the little M6 countersunk and the countersunk washer. Just stick it through there, move the bracket up, chuck it through the hole, and then just chuck your nut on the back of that. And then just do the nut up on the other side. For the, this one, you'll need the 4mm Allen key and the 10mm ratchet ring spanner. Snip that little guy up there. Right, next up, we've got side pod and side pod bar installation. So put the back 
bar in first into here and then the front one doesn't fit just bend it over a little bit and in she goes on the Tony car we've got a red pin here for the front chuck that guy in there that's what holds that in so you your pod bars don't run too tight stiffen the chassis up in the middle and then just slide that guy down there over the top and then you can put a little bit of uh, sticky tape on here to stop that from sliding off when you're racing and then M6 cap screw nothing too techo there and a M6 nylock on the bottom now, don't go crazy long on this bolt, otherwise when you go around the track you'll just grind it off and it'll melt the um, nylock away and then your bolt will fall out and your side pod comes off. Do that little guy up. And repeat the same for the other side. Okay, next up we've got the rear bar mounting kits. Okay, I've demonstrated this before in another video, but I'll do it again. This is how I do it. I spin those two 17 mil nuts on, and then I lock the two to get, lock the two together with my spanners. Insert the bolt assembly, and you can hold this with a pair of multi-groups, a pin spanner or a pair of circlip pliers. Put your spanner on there and then rotate it counterclockwise and that will pull the bolt into the rubber which expands it inside the chassis rail and keep going. Normally this nut will just crack off if you haven't done it too tight but don't go crazy or it'll just keep pulling the bolt right through the rubber and wreck it. Just you want it so it's firm and then when you turn that this guy doesn't turn anymore that's tight enough. So then we'll undo those two nuts. Then you're going to install this little rubber guy. Then your rear bar mount assembly. Slightly used washer. Then that guy goes on, which is the normal normal nut not the nylock now I run my bars tight other guys like them loose you can do as you please it's not a hard adjustment you just back these two nuts off and run the bracket a little bit looser than standard and um, that'll give you a little bit more rear grip or front grip Okay, last but not least, the rear bar installation. Okay, first up, chuck the bar on the mount kit. It will fit inside here and that's what stops everything from rotating and moving around when the cuts. In operation now, we've got a countersunk cap screw with a washer. Slide that through there. Put your loop nut on here. Then grab your five millimeter T-bar, 13 millimeter ratchet spanner. there and then off to the other side last but not least arguably the most important part of a whole go-kart is the GoPro mount so let's chuck that on there right now we've already got a hole drilled here and a couple of other ones so we can tether the GoPro to the car that's pretty important because these break sometimes and then you lose your $500 GoPro down the street so chuck that on there. We've just got a little bolt here with a nylock nut. Chuck it in through that hole. 
and then do it up. Four and an eight millimeter. Put that guy on there. Hold this guy on there, and then just spin him up. Good to go. All right. So the KZ go kart is starting to look like a go kart. Pretty excited. Like I said, next week we're going to put the engine on. A couple of weeks after that, we'll be revving her up and dropping some burnouts. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe downstairs. If you've got any comments, leave it in the uh, all questions. Leave it in the comment section below. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic, or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt and a hat. It's summer here in Australia, super sunny, and we're really worried about your safety and sun protection. So go and get yourself some sun protection on our website. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.